Meiosis is divided into two parts, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2, which are again divided into four more parts, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. You should recognize that these are the same names for the mitosis phases, but they accomplish different things. Meiosis 1 is also called reduction division. Before it occurs, a cell will undergo the same process of DNA replication as in mitosis. So when the cells begin the meiotic cell division process, there are two sister chromatids per chromosome. Unlike mitosis, however, the sister chromatids do not separate in meiosis 1. Instead, the homologous chromosomes separate. The homologous chromosomes are the two chromosomes that code for the same gene in a diploid cell. Remember we said that humans, um, in each pair of homologous chromosomes, one comes from the mom and one comes from the dad. And so, for example, if we were talking about eye color, both these chromosomes will have the genes for eye color. But let's say um, the mom chromosome will have the genes for green eyes, whereas in the dad's chromosome, um, the dad will have the genes for brown eyes. So this is the, the difference between homologous chromosomes. One comes from the mom, one comes from the dad, but they code for different, um, different variations on a specific trait. And so when these separate, the cells go from a diploid count to a haploid count. Um, synapsis and crossing over also occur in meiosis 1, which is the process of exchanging genetic information between two chromosomes in a homologous pair. And so these two processes are discussed in more detail later. Once the exchange is complete, the homologous chromosomes separate by lining up randomly at the center um, of the cell and moving to opposite sides. And the resulting haploid cells are made genetically unique. And so in meiosis 2, meiosis 2 divides the cells a second time to separate the sister chromatids in each chromosome. So it's very similar to mitosis in that the chromosomes line up and are separated along their centromeres. And this division maintains the haploid count in cells. However, this stage is different from mitosis in that it does not create genetically identical haploid cells. Because of the exchange of genetic information in meiosis 1, the sister chromatids in each chromosome are already different. Thus, four genetically unique, unique gametes are formed at the completion of meiosis.